me again. If that even means anything anymore. Sorry, it's been a hell of a day. Lost a couple of guys today. It was just a shit show. An absolute fucking mess. Where we shouldn't have we shouldn't have even been there to begin with, but hey. I survived. And uh Fortunately, the majority of the squad did. But still, we're losing more and more people all the time. I need to take my mind off this. We managed to get hold of another historical newspaper. Uh, this one's from the, the Tarkov Gazette. Okay. And um, I never knew about this. I never knew about this until now, so... Why not share it? Why not immortalize it in this in this video file that will never be discovered, right? Why not? Anyway, I'm going to read into this and uh, hopefully it'll take my mind off of what happened today. So, the Tarkov Gazette newspaper. Lifeguards are searching for the industrial divers that went missing in the port. According to the press service of Norvinsk Regional Emercom of Russia, a contact was lost with two industrial divers carrying out underwater repair works at Pier No. 3. As reported by lifeguards, the port representatives responsible for repairs have called them in a timely manner immediately after the loss of communication. Moreover, the works manager estimated that there was enough oxygen in the cylinders to last at least 30 to 40 more minutes. However, swift actions on the emergency site yielded no results. The divers were not found at the designated location of the works and further search was hindered by low visibility and growing dusk. An hour later, the underwater search operation was suspended until dawn. Nevertheless, the lifeguards went on for three more hours searching the coastline and coastal industrial equipment, but to no avail. This morning the search was continued, but now it can be said with great deal of certainty that the divers were killed as a result of a tragedy of some kind, and finding them alive would be a miracle. The port authorities stated that divers were conducting welding works on strengthening the underwater metal structures. Both divers were professionals who had all the necessary documents and certificates for this type of activity, as well as great diving experience. It was also noted that the management of the works fully complied with all relevant safety regulations. In regional investigation, committee informed that after the divers all their bodies are discovered, a check will be run to determine the degree of responsibility of concerned parties. And the divers' names were not announced. This port connected to the shoreline. Uh, this seems to be the root of, of everything going wrong. All that went wrong. You know, we've been past the port numerous times. Some of our guys did uh, did jobs there previously, helping out the uh, the last remaining terror group employees get out. But I don't know. I don't know. This is uh, this is strange. This is really really odd. It just seems that the port is cursed, and whoever comes into contact with it is. Uh, either killed or or goes missing or is involved in some sort of conspiracy. If I get any more information about these divers, I'll, uh, I'll log it here. For what it's worth, you know. All right.